Welcome to Workday Learning Manage Enrollments. In this session, we'll explore the different ways to mass enroll workers into learning content. We'll also discuss learning assignment records and their impact on canceling enrollments. Workday Learning offers flexible options for enrolling workers in learning content, whether it's for an individual or an entire organization. Managers can easily enroll their teams using the Enroll Workers functionality. You can also grant specific security groups access to the Find Workers to Enroll report for broader enrollment capabilities. Learning administrators have access to the powerful Learning Mass Enroll report, which overrides any established learning rules or conditions. Each enrollment method caters to different roles and purposes, so understanding their unique features is crucial for efficient and effective learning management. The Enroll My Team link located on each course or program page empowers managers to directly enroll their team members into learning content. This feature streamlines the enrollment process while adhering to any approvals that the Enroll in Content business process requires. It also respects course capacity limits, statuses, validations, and any learning rules associated with the content. Let's observe how Mark Navarro, the Director of Sales Operations in Chicago, enrolls his team in the Sales Knowledge Course. Mark begins by navigating to the Sales Knowledge Course page. In the lower right corner, he selects the Enroll My Team link. From the Review page, Mark selects the team members he wants to enroll in this course. He can also assign their course as required learning, which he selects. In the Due Date section, he selects Date as the Due Date Type and sets a calendar date for completion. Now this course will display on each team member's Required For You slider, which displays on their learning dashboard and homepage. This will display until they complete it by the specified due date. This ensures timely completion and keeps training requirements top of mind for Mark and his team. Mark is able to monitor his team's completion progress using the My Teams Learning Report. You can also grant specific security groups access to the Find Workers to Enroll Report based on your organization's structure and business objectives. This type of mass enrollment, known as facilitated enrollment, is available to non-managers this includes security groups that support learning and development initiatives, such as learning trainers or HR partners. Facilitated enrollments ensure compliance with enrollment limits, including capacity constraints, statuses, validations, business process approvals, and any associated learning rules. This controlled approach maintains the integrity of your learning content and promotes effective learning management across the organization. Workday recommends that learning administrators and their teams also have access to this report. This enables them to efficiently enroll workers while adhering to the established limitations. This streamlines the enrollment process and ensures proper resource allocation. Deborah Simpson, an HR manager who supports the learning and development initiatives at Global Modern Services, is part of the Learning Administrator Security Group. She needs to enroll regional sales managers located in Chicago into the Sales Protocol in-person course while still adhering to capacity limits. She begins by navigating to the Find Workers to Enroll report. In the left panel, she uses the facets to locate her target audience. After selecting all three results, she selects the Select Learners button. Next, in the Learning Content field, Deborah selects the Sales Protocol in-person course. Since it's a blended course with an instructor-led lesson, the course offerings page displays. Deborah selects an offering, then OK. Similar to the Enroll My Team functionality, Deborah assigns a completion deadline with a duration of three weeks. She then selects all the workers in the grid and then submit. To verify these enrollments, Deborah navigates to the Sales Protocol course. In the Admin view, she selects the Enrollments tab. Notice the three regional sales managers display with a not started completion status, indicating their successful enrollment in the course. Lastly, the Learning Mass Enroll Report provides flexibility for enrolling individuals in learning content. 
This custom report empowers you to enroll anyone within your organization into courses and programs, bypassing capacity limits, course statuses, validations, and associated learning rules. This functionality ensures efficient, consistent, and scalable enrollment across your organization. Learning mass enrollments are particularly valuable for distributing mandatory compliance and internal policy and procedures training. It's also helpful when managing large-scale learning events, such as webinars or town halls. This approach simplifies enrollment management and ensures broad access to critical learning content. To demonstrate this concept, Deborah Mass enrolls the Sales and Marketing Supervisory Organization into the Welcome to Sales program. Deborah navigates to the Learning Mass Enrollment Report and uses the facets to identify her target audience, selecting all 75 results. She then selects the Learning Mass Enroll button. In the Learning Content field, Deborah selects the Welcome to Sales program and assigns a due date of one month to all workers in the grid. Again, Deborah verifies these enrollments from the Programs page Enrollments tab. Now that you understand the various mass enrollment options available in Workday Learning, it is crucial to understand learning assignment records for effective learning management. Whether initiated by a manager, learning administrator, or another authorized group, the enrollment process includes the option to make the learning required and to set a due date. Once you designate it as required, the enrollment generates a learning assignment record and the learning content displays on the learner's required for use slider. This assignment remains open until the learner completes the content or the assignment is waived. To effectively monitor and maintain oversight of open learning assignments, Workday delivers the Find Learning Assignments report. This provides valuable insights into open assignments and helps monitor required learning. At times, you may need to cancel an enrollment. When canceling an enrollment, first determine if there's an associated learning assignment record. If so, you'll need to cancel the enrollment and waive the learning assignment. Let's revisit Deborah's mass enrollment of the Sales and Marketing Supervisory Organization into the Welcome to Sales program. She inadvertently enrolled Zoe Fox, a contingent worker who isn't required to complete this training. To correct this, Deborah needs to cancel Zoe's enrollment and waive the corresponding learning assignment, since it is required content. To begin, Deborah navigates to the Mass Cancel Learning Enrollments task. From the pop-up in the Learning Content field, she selects the Welcome to Sales program. To further narrow her results, in the Learners field, she selects Zoe Fox, then OK. On the Mass Cancel Learning Enrollments page, Deborah selects Zoe Fox's checkbox and then Submit. This cancels Zoe's enrollment in the program. To ensure she also canceled the learning assignment record, Deborah navigates to the Wave Learning Assignment task. Similar to mass canceling enrollments, Deborah completes the necessary fields to locate the assignment and selects OK. Again, she selects Zoe Fox's checkbox and selects OK, then Submit. This successfully waives the learning assignment. Deborah verifies the enrollment status by running the Find Learning Assignments report for Zoe Fox. Notice that she has an assignment status of manually waived. The learning content will also no longer display on Zoe's required for use slider, ensuring Zoe's learning record accurately reflects her training requirements. In this session, we've explored the three distinct ways to mass enroll learners in learning content catering to various roles and organizational needs. We also examine the process of canceling enrollments and the crucial role that learning assignment records have in maintaining accurate learner transcripts. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday. <laughs>